I will walk you through the menu first and then set it for infrared photography. The menu can look complicated at first, but there are no hidden items so you can quickly find what you need. The first six tabs are dedicated to image and video settings. Although it is a bit confusing in the way that it's organized, video and image settings are mixed. Then in these four tabs, there are camera controls, visual and button organization. Next is the wireless setup. I prefer to keep it on airplane mode as it drains the battery. Here is how to set the white balance. First go to tab and menu number 4. Choose White Balance, scroll to the Custom Setup, and have your gray card ready. A white piece of paper would also work. You can set it to grass, and the grass, tree leaves, and anything green will look white. It probably will show you an error, but this is okay. It will still set a custom white balance, and the image will be black and white. It's quite amazing that you can have black and white pics just by setting white balance. Now this Sony kit lens 1650 will have a spot in the center on a high numerical aperture. This is just how this lens works. Nevertheless, despite this, you can get a pretty nice infrared image by using this lens. The optical zoom gives very good results.